Good morning, gang. Happy Easter Sunday. Yes, I know it's very late for me to put up a morning video, <laughs> but I was up until nearly midnight last night uh, answering emails, sending out fertilization spreadsheets and stuff like that to everybody. Uh, a lot of people had emailed me after the live stream, and so I decided, hey, it's a holiday, and a lot of people are going to be at church this morning, or Easter egg hunting, or going to grandma's house for ham, or doing whatever, and it was okay for me to sleep in until 7 o'clock. I haven't done that in forever. It's like, oh my God, I got up and the sun was actually up before me. It's not a normal thing. But it kind of brings something to point. Be different. As a prepper, we're a little different, okay? It's Easter. Why were people attracted to Christ? Christ was different. Christ wasn't involved in the debauchery that was the well, time, I guess the best word for it, okay? Christ saw other people. He didn't look at race or culture as a, de a bad thing, okay? And I don't either, all right? I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're Hispanic. I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're Jewish. If you're a good person, I'm totally cool with you. <clears throat> if you're not, then I have a big problem. <clears throat> and if you go back into time, a lot of the people back then were not good people. And Christ was this shining light of God is good and I want to attract people to being to the good side, you know, get away from the dark side, if you will. That there was eternal salvation, that you could be forgiven for your sins, you know, your past transgressions. Just because you did something bad yesterday doesn't mean you can't be forgiven. And that's kind of what today is about, because today is when Christ was resurrected, and after he had died to, if you will, cleanse humanity of its sins. Okay? So be different. Be the good person. There's a lot of evil in this world right now. We know it. Okay, this is, No longer is this a battle between Democrats and Republicans, or blacks and whites, or Russia and the U.S., or China and the U.S., or anything. This is a battle between good and evil. And we all need to decide which side we are going to be on. If we are going to be on the good side or on the evil side. Now, in Christ's eyes, in God's eyes, everybody is redeemable. I struggle with that one uh, because I cannot think that Adolf Hitler is redeemable. I cannot think that Joseph Stalin is redeemable. I cannot think that Jeffrey Dahmer is redeemable or John Wayne Gacy or something like that. But that's my physical mind thinking that way. By no means am I making the decisions for God, okay? The spiritual decision-making, I'm going to let, leave up to him because <clears throat> a billion times more knowledgeable than me, easy, okay? But so we need to think about being different, being good. And I think, I believe, my opinion, okay, is that prepping is being different and being good. We all know, every single one of us knows, that when something happens, be it an EMP, be it an economic collapse, be it whatever, be it the power going out for a week, that we those of us that have prepared for those situations <clears throat> are 
are going to be a place of refuge for people. Okay. Oh my God, you have electricity. Can I charge my phone? Oh my God, you have gardens. Can I have a couple of tomatoes to eat? You know, oh my God, you have set up something whereby I could be safe from gangs of the evil people. Can I come in? And you start thinking about that, of are we being used by God to help his flock? I, I believe so. Okay. Disagree with me if you want, that's fine. There's a reason for everything in life. I'm not, I'm not a believer in predestination or anything. I'm certainly a believer in you make your own path in life. But I'm also a firm believer that we are guided by God. <clears throat> there's a reason that Mrs. P and I, there's a reason for Mrs. P and I, okay, but there's, there's a reason that for some reason Mrs. P and I had a calling to leave Nevada and wind up in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee. I mean, I think I've told you guys this before. Uh, people have asked us, when we, how in the world did you find Sharps Chapel, Tennessee? Okay. The internet was a good answer. But there's a reason that God decided to guide me and to convince me to start this channel and talk to y'all. I don't know what his ultimate plan is. Nobody does. But there's a reason that we were all, or we are all, put into the current situation that we are in and that we do the things that we do. Maybe we've been chosen to be the future leaders of a post-apocalyptic world or whatever it would be. I don't know. Okay, But here on Easter Sunday, you look at a celebrating Christ's resurrection and the cleansing of man's sins. We all sin. We all have sinned. We all will sin today. We all will sin tomorrow. Okay. Maybe you won't break one of the Ten Commandments, but you will do something that God kind of goes, hmm, you know what, maybe not. Okay. We all do it. None of us are perfect. Striving to be there is a challenge, but striving to be there is impossible. None of us are ever going to be without sin. Okay? That's why Christ died. But take today to celebrate a little bit about the fact that you are different. You are on the side of good in the battle between good and evil. And that in the long run, you may be a tool, not that kind, okay, <clears throat> but a tool that God is using to save mankind. Just a thought. Happy Easter Sunday, guys. Go spend time with the kids. Go spend time at service. Go kiss Grandma. But ultimately... Remember what this day is about. This is probably the holiest of holy days. And that probably this is. Okay. And at least for today, try to live up to what God expects out of us. Not that we shouldn't do it every day, but make a little bit more effort today. Just something to think about. Pinball out.